Today we are going to build 3.5 inch FPV drone. So please join me to share some fun and challenges everybody who is building their own drone is inevitably facing. Also please make sure you subscribe to my channel because this will be a series of videos and uh, to make sure you are not missing any of them it would be better if you subscribed. This video is one in the series where we are building 3.5 inch FPV drone. Currently it looks like this, we are somewhere in the middle of the build. So if it's something interesting for you, please subscribe to the channel so you are not missing any further build videos. And let's jump to the build. Let's try to do dry fit now. Let's start with the camera because camera is something we can't relocate. So we need, it will be probably fixed location, let's take to uh, dumpers for 19 millimeters because our camera is 19 millimeters long sorry wide and let's put our inserts in here that's the wrong one so this is the one we need to put in Okay, so this is, here we go, this is one, and this is second one. Okay, now let's fix the camera. Uh, okay, so I think, I think what we will do, we will fix camera on a central hole in this one. I think it will be good for it. It will be quite protected uh, by camera cage in this case. So, okay, let's grab some nuts coming with camera. Maybe longer nuts that's let's try to, to mount it actually Okay, I think I got this one. Let me get another one. I'm taking longer screws, not shorter screws. Okay, so we roughly mounted our camera. You can see that it's protected by the cage. We can move it up and down. So let's ground it with the camera. Now let's see what we can do with our flight controller. So by default, I'll grab two screws coming with the camera kit. And yeah, I don't, yeah. let me remove those yeah, nuts and bolts coming with the camera. I'll put it in here. <clears throat> so what I will do now, I'll grab, uh, I'll grab the flight controller and try to do some dry mount of flight controller, uh, DVR and VTX and also uh, receiver, VLRS receiver. So what we will do next is we will try to mount with, uh, our flight controller all in one. For this, I just grab two longest screws. I'll put some blue tack so they're not falling apart. Uh, yeah, so that's that holds them perfectly. And 
how should I mount it? Yes, this is. This is a battery pad, so normally it goes uh, like this. Then uh, what we will do, we will grab another two mm, screws and secure them with blue tack because I don't have nuts at the moment and I don't want to tighten stuff. I'll put two uh, rubber, uh, it's not a gummies, it's like uh, washers into here and I think like my idea is that I can secure um, DVR this way and I can kind of make something like a rack I need to grab some gummies coming with VTX probably and put them in and for gummies let me put them in okay here we go i have four gummies installed into vtx so VTX should go like this normally. This one has 30 by 30 mountings, but I like if you are not planning to change it, you can cut them. It, there are some threads to cut, but I am not sure if I want to, to leave it uh, in this drone. So probably I'll leave them as is and see if I need to cut them later on okay so i that's looks like way to go uh let's we have two more things which are most annoying probably all of the times it's uh, a receiver because uh, there is a place here for receiver but I don't want it to go uh, actually under the drone because it will be muddy and dirty all the time and it's easy to damage it during the crash. I'll try to find place somewhere here. And second thing is actually we need to find a way to install capacitor and uh, power cable. So power cable can go here. That's rear part, so looks like looks like I need it. Looks like it's a bit short. I would like to have it probably a bit longer, but that's okay. So what should I do with capacitor? So capacitor, if I install it. So the problem with capacitor is it takes pretty much the whole height of a frame. So there is not much space left in here. And if I need to solder, I have some problems with soldering in here. I can probably put it like that. Then I'll have some issues with putting connector in here. Or maybe not and uh, the second issue I'll have issues soldering motors ideally I would like to have this kind of open so I can get with uh, soldering iron okay so what can I do here so there is some space in here for capacitor I might want to relocate it so what actually the challenge would be i'll need some wires in here but what i can also do 
I can probably reverse flight controller and put it like that because I can later correct it in beta flight and then I can probably solder a capacitor in here and the problem is that my wires will be too short I have to put them in front of let me try to see it I'll probably need to put them like this in this scenario so from the front which is probably okay but I wanted to secure this place for GPS to be honest I want to have some GPS installed on this drone later on so it still can be okay if we put them from the front uh, let me grab the battery so if I have them from here The problem will be with removing top lead uh, because I won't be able to fully remove top lead if I put them through, uh, let's say, this hole. I'll have some difficulties later on. So what can we do is... What I can potentially do... I have a longer uh, cable for XT30 so what I can probably do if I mount it the other way around I can potentially let me let me try so what if I put them under so let, let's say I can what if I do it like that? Okay, I'll need longer screws in here, but in general, I think it's doable. Okay, and then, then what I'll have is, I'll have it like that, and I'll have my battery staying, staying in the middle, so that's fine. That's fine, I can... Probably do it Yeah, I think I think I will try to go this way So what then so we have We will have capacitor Installed In here Is it possible for me? Okay, so there is. I need to put flight controller a little bit higher because of the wires, or I can do the wires on top of the flight controller. I can do that as well. I uh, have to probably solder. Uh, motors first and then do the wires what if I put them on top Okay, I think I can do something like that. I'll put them and I'll put capacitor from... I'll put capacitor in here.
sounds good to me so there is enough place space for capacitor in here and also enough space for wires and i will probably have to solder this motor first and my but my pads for ports and everything else is like remain open so yeah i think i'll try this approach and in terms of receiver i think i can uh, just put it in a hitch ring and i can put it on top of the wires and i can do something like I'm not going to put antennas in the back, what I'll do, I'll probably put antennas on the, on the arms and that would be something like that. Okay, so it sounds like a plan, let's stick to this and see what we can do. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Just wanted to remind you that all parts used in this build are linked in the description down below. Also, I would appreciate it if you subscribe and like and put your opinion in the comments down below. Thank you.